Greetings, everyone. We are not at another theme park, baby. But I'm here with Laramie. What up? And we are going into the Orlando Toy and Comic Con. It's not the Mega Con, but... But Sean, you sound like you've been in traffic for an hour. I've been in traffic <laughs> the entire time. And I haven't eaten, so this is going to be a fun vlog. Now, if you've been following the channel for some time, you know I love comic conventions. I'm a big comic convention guy. I go to MegaCon every year. I love going to comic conventions. It's my thing. This one was the smallest convention I've ever been to. And here we go. This is it. <laughs> Bam. And it's the smallest and probably I, wanna, I don't want to say it's the least accessible, but it kind of was accessible. Uh, it was really cool to see a bunch of vendors there selling comic books, which is exactly what a comic book convention should be. Selling comic books. At its core, should be selling comic books, action figures, um, collectibles, everything. I don't like comic conventions where it's like comic conventions but celebrities I mean it should be a collection of everything but at its core it should be a comic book convention and that's what this was but a bit smaller check it out Laramie they got Disney pins Woo! like Five these Disney pins right here yeah I got this limited edition quote Oh, that's from Walt. That's pretty cool. Look at this one. Disneyland pin. It's all blurry, but you guys get it. <laughs> what do you think about these Disney pins right here? Like the marijuana Disney pin. My God, by the time you get done, it'll be new. Jerry Garcia Disney pin. I don't think those are Disney pins. <laughs> but there's more, like this way. Oh, they got a Howdy Doody. It's Howdy Doody time. It's Howdy Doody Doody. time. I used to have one of those. You should get one bigger. <laughs> yeah. My mom loved him and I had him, she gave it to me. And I So is it a real, my... it's an actual puppet though, right? Probably. Like the mouth moves and everything. I don't know everything. if it's a puppet as much as a uh, ventriloquist. Oh, it has like the string. I think you pull the string. I don't, I don't want to break him. Yeah, be careful. His pants, his pants are falling down. <laughs> Here's what I'm looking for, Larry. I that? need the bootleg movies. That's what we're looking for. Is the bootleg, we can't find this anywhere, Song of the South type movies. Oh. So that's, those are the hidden gems of Tweety Comics. Oh, wow. Sean, today's your lucky day because, turn the camera off. <laughs> One of the big gets that I can recommend to anybody going to any comic convention is always look for the booth that sells bootleg movies. Because if you can get to the booth that sells bootleg movies, then you can get like the best movies on the cheap that may not ever be available. For example, this copy, it's Song of the South by Walt Disney, and you can't find this copy anywhere. It doesn't exist. It shouldn't exist. But I own it, and it's crazy racist. But I would have never got this if it wasn't for a comic convention. And then there's Wing Commander, which you might find at a comic convention. And then there's Cops, but I didn't get this at a comic convention. I actually literally bought this at Best Buy, and I'm very happy that I bought this. But hey, I own it. And then Rubber Face, Jim Carrey, Victorville Massacre, my hometown, Victorville. You might be able to find this at a bootleg. I <laughs> I should watch this movie. This is the area, Laramie. This is the area that I live by. Magilla Gorilla. Magilla Gorilla. And they also have uh, Mask. They have the Pirates of Dark Where's Water. Mask? Oh, mask, right there. Yeah. I just asked the guy over there for the if he had any of the toys. Wow. I had so many mask toys. Yeah. Oh. I think I had a couple myself. They have um, this. This is definitely like my area right here. You'll find oh, the uh, Kim Possible. Well, I'm pretty sure you can find that. That's a lot to make. I'm really excited. Oh, he just got the box. Yeah. So, so 
So you can put anything in the box. So what you do is, these are these are mine. Oh, okay. So this is what they'll look like, like if, if you get I a see. box. So you can get a naked Luke on eBay cheap. Oh, perfect. And then you just dress them up. And then you get the 1990s Hasbro or Kenner. Yeah. Outfits, put it on the figure, throw it in there, and you got a custom. Oh, that's cool. And, so, and all the photographs oh, yeah. are the original. That's super cool. And then you got Buck Rogers of the 25th century. Wow. You got a ton of Mickey Mouse comics for a buck. You can buy that for a dollar. A yeah, they're a dollar. Uh, it's really interesting, like, some of the older comics that they have. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow. The first Uncle Scrooge. Is this 400? Are you selling it for? Yeah. There's two. Yeah, there's two prices. One is how much it's worth, and the other one's what they sell. Oh, okay. And that one is a 5.5. 4500 for Donald Duck finds pirate gold. That's really cool. A very missed opportunity for like my vlog. I could have just used that. But I didn't. It's close. But the shirt is cool. I like the shirt. Oh, it's a hoodie. But that's super cool. This is super cool. I like the patches. I like the patches. I like, uh, they got the Ghostbusters patches. Both Ghostbuster patches for haters and lovers. This one looks very familiar. You got Power Ranger trading cards? That's what you're looking at? Can you see the Power Ranger? <laughs> this is my Belinda Carlisle uh, action figures card set. Believe there's that many books in a house. Action Comics number one. Did, First appearance no, of Superman. No, no real, they weren't bagged and boarded. They were just 75 boxes. bucks. I'm not even long boxes. They were just in brown. On a 9.2? And, and some were just out in the open, loose. And oh, it's a reprint. These are kind of, kind of cool. To That's why. I was about to say that guy does not know the value of a comic book, but because it's a reprint, it, $75 makes sense. Oh, uh, look at the video games. They got Mafia 2. Actually, be on the lookout for Conquer. Conquer's bad fur day. Here you go, Laramie. Get the door whip! He was just reminiscing of the time he was on Wheel of Fortune. It was, the wheel was not kind. Hey, but uh, you did what most people couldn't. And that's guest letters. The neat thing as well is that you can actually plug in your uh, audio jack, your music right there. They didn't want to ruin the picture for yourself. Oh really? Yeah, you can plug in your music and everything like that. So if you want to wally a dance to classic music or rap or anything like that, country. These are my friends, the Riley and Kimmy show. What's going on guys? How you doing? How are you? You know, I, I saw you guys at the uh, Replay Florida event. I won the, the little card. Uh -huh. Are you guys doing the spin a wheel make a deal? Yeah. Spin a wheel make a deal? I'm going for it. Deal with us? Yeah, just your jacket though. Because that's a pretty sick jacket well, right here. Cool. Hey Larry, me, does that jacket look kind of familiar, don't it? Yes. Familiar? <laughs> yeah, I wore a similar jacket like this at the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wheel and I got an Avengers comic. Oh, he's got, he got that there. Oh, hey, look at that. There we go. That's so super cool. <laughs> also for you Florida <laughs> Disney pin traders, they have a collector show pin trading event. Laramie. Laramie will be there. I might have to be there. He'll have a booth. Ooh, I don't have that many pins. <laughs> so, let's talk about my haul. What did I get at the Comic Con? I'm really happy that I got a couple things here. So. The first book that I was able to find, and it was like a five buck, uh, five dollar, like trade paperback, which is awesome. So that way it's like big collection of books. The first one I got is Devil Dinosaur. Now Devil Dinosaur is an actual old story by the man, the king, Jack Kirby. And Devil Dinosaur is about a kid and his dinosaur raging war back in prehistoric, prehistoric times. So yes, Devil Dinosaur. 
And the second purchase I made was the Essential Fantastic Four, this big mammoth of a book. I have it now, and it's a collection of all tons of great Fantastic Four comic books. I'm really excited about checking out this book, so I'm gonna dig right deep into the Fantastic Four. Well, that's it, thanks for watching, that was a lot of fun. Smash that subscribe button, thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, thanks for all your comments, all that fun stuff. I'm sick of this comic book convention, I'm sick of it, I'm out! Make, 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 make